All right, good evening, everybody. I don't know, maybe it's morning. I don't give a name, whatever. Maybe it's morning or afternoon or night time for you. But here we're in Kali Shishin, it's the nightlife. We're having a good time. We're in the top. We're trying to, you know, feel the vibe. So now we're going to go on asking some gorgeous looking women, hopefully, because there's plenty in there. We're going to ask them what are the red flag tonight and see what they're telling us. So, fellas, be ready and fix your act. Jesus Christ. Hi, uh, good evening. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? I know it's better now because I'm enjoying your company, you feel me? My nigga. <laughs> but anyway, um, have you have anything to drink yet? Oh, if you're not 21, you, you, never mind. I you, am above 21. So you, you're having a good time? Yes, I'm having a good time. All right. What do you mean by that? Good. So tonight, yes. we're just walking around. First of all, like I usually don't get nervous holding ice contact, but you have so much strong ice contact with the air. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. no, no, you're good. That's a good thing. That, no, that's a good thing. Yeah. But anyway, walking around, looking for good-looking women that look like you. Of course, not like you because you're one of a kind, of course, you know. Oh, but you. you already know that. You don't have to be <laughs> acting all blushy and everything. But anyway, we looking around and asking you what are your red flag. Because it's every guy's dream to be with someone, you know, drop the code just like you. So they need to take... Stop saying that. I'm just speaking the truth. <laughs> But anyway, would you like to share them with us? Yeah, of course. Um, I would say my red flags are emotional immaturity, inability to manage finances, and somebody that doesn't communicate very well and is in, unable to like express their emotions. Oh, damn. Yeah, those are my top three. I have to take a minute to have it sick in because that was a perfect answer. I'm sorry, I'm not even trying to like guys like you right now or anything, <laughs> but because yours was like was solid. And one thing I, I appreciate you saying is like um the financial aspect because I'm tired of seeing like guys working around and like not doing anything with their life and be like oh uh, because I don't have any money that's why she don't want me. No, you broke. You can't help it yourself. Oh, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. Like, how the fuck you want somebody to be with you when you can't even help yourself? Like, like if you're not ready, if you haven't, like, get yourself ready to move on to the next stage, you can't expect somebody else to, to like, invest the time into you, you know? Yeah. So I expect that. You know how guys be like, oh, girls are gold again. No, you just work. You need to work on yourself first, and then you can afford to build someone. Yeah. So I respect that. Thank you so much. We're asking, what are your red flags? My red flag for a man is like when he talks about his ex or other girls. Like, we don't stand that. What if he's trying to heal? What if he's what? He's trying to heal. Why he's what trying he to? He goes to therapy. He doesn't even talk to me about that. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> My red flag for a man is that he can't communicate his feelings properly. That's a common one. That's a common one. Oh shit. Here we go again. I don't know what the Why'd you break up with your ex? Why did I break up with my ex? Because he was like crazy ass drunk ass lunatic. So don't, don't be an alcoholic. Drunk. Don't be an alcoholic. Like can he get drunk and like scream in my face? So it's kind of don't be abusive and alcoholic. Okay. Yes. Also, You're a victim. Mm. Another red flag. I got it. Another red flag is like gaslighting. I love to gaslight people. Are you dumb? I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. What? But when a man gaslights you, it's another story. She, do you think oh, she's, she's dumb. dumb. Wait, so men aren't allowed to when gaslight. They're when they're a pathological liar and they're like, okay, I'm gonna tell this lie and be like, but it's for you, okay? No, it's not. No. You're just lying. Hey, yeah. I just love when guys try to gaslight me because it's literally all fucking bullshit. And I'm like, bitch, you want to turn the page because I'll gaslight your what, ass what right the, now. Police! Help! Police! Help! Police! What are you trying to and do? Crazy. Like, you want me to go crazy? I'll be a second. What? Is this nigga serious? My favorite thing from college station is you go out to the bar and you'll start talking to a guy and he'll talk to you for like 30 minutes. And then he'll be like, oh, I got to get a drink or whatever. And you're like, okay, like, go get your drink. That's fine. I'm going to get mine, whatever. I'm going to go to the bathroom or whatever. And you come back and you see him talking to a different bitch. And you're standing there and you're like, hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what if like, you guys are not in a relationship, though? What are you doing? Well, no, it doesn't matter. If you try to get your pants, at least be a little bit loyal in the moment. Like, no. Diddy boy. Diddy boy. So, 
earlier today, literally at this bar, I was like, this man saying carrying your love with me. If you're seeing this, I feel like the odds are low, but if you're seeing this. He's going to see it. Um, are you talking about Latrell? Yes! Ah! Latrell? <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. He was like, um, I was like, if you don't have a girlfriend, you can carry your love with me because he's saying carrying your love with me. And I thought it was a good one. And he gave me nothing back. <laughs> Like that Riz was 10 out of 10. The Michael Riz? Yes, I literally had it at that moment. I'm actually. And then he walked away. I was like, dog. Nah, if it's I'm... like that, don't even he, entertain it. He's like... Latrell. He's just Latrell. <laughs> okay, in all preface, we love Latrell. We, we love I Luttrell. love Latrell. He's yes, so good at we singing. Love. No. We love Latrell. We love Latrell. We I don't, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Sensational. Okay, I'm I'm done for the night. <laughs> anyway, we're asking you know, what is your biggest red flag in a man? Which one of you I wanna go first? I'm ready. Shit. Like, like. <laughs> Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. They sound like they hit men, bro. She said, I'm ready. <laughs> but anyway, what is your biggest red flag in a guy? Okay, mine is whenever he's a mama's boy. Oh. Damn. Every single time. That's hey, never good. Don't say you're one. I'm not saying I'm a mama boy, but I love he my mom. I'm means not he a is. mama boy. I'm so, that one there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have been. Like, what is the definition of a mama boy? Definition of mama's boy is whenever the mom doesn't have enough love in her life, so she gets all the love from her son. She wants to fuck him. That's weird. That's weird. And he wait, 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 plays into it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Somebody from your past slept no, with... No, honest, honestly, not me. I've just seen it way too many times. Somebody else slept with the mom before? No. <laughs> Sit. Yeah. What, what about you? Whenever they're stuck in high school. Oh, pause. Like, and they're cheaters. <laughs> I'm sorry. When they're cheaters. Well, cheating is not a red flag. Cheating is just straight up like, you should not be with That's that motherfucker. For... Yes, but like... You should not be with that motherfucker from the get go if they cheat on you. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Are you still gonna stay with him after he cheat on you? Huh? Are you still, are you still gonna stay with him after he cheat on you? Uh, well, I'm guilty of it. No. You're a victim. No, say no. But no, I broke up with him. Yes! 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 I ended yeah. it, but it was after three times. No! No! See, see, I know, like, like, I was a, I went to high school, I was in high school, but he, no, uh, um, like he, I just exposed myself, uh, yeah, here's Are the thing, you gonna cut this out, no, do commercial break, alright, so you gonna be like this, it's like, Love is washing woolens, I cannot be upset. The heart won't what you want. My beloved regret, I wish I never met. Your heart is all I want. She, she want me, she want me, she want me. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. So I'm here with? Brooke. Back. I was capping. I was lying. So we're asking, what are your red flags in a guy? Video games. He can't play with the boys? No. Hypothetically, if like I play video games like every single day except for Saturdays and Mondays, uh, would I still like be your type? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. No. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I don't do that. Yeah. So am I still your type? Okay. Uh. No. Let's uh, skip that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry for stuttering. But anyway, how can you blame me? I have to be nervous. You see who I'm in the middle of? But anyway, who want to go first, first of all? I'll go first. Okay. What is your biggest red flag in a guy? Getting mad when I don't respond within five minutes. I fucking miss you. Like, I'm your true love, bitch. What's up with you? Toxic, toxic. Absolutely. And frustrated whenever I can't 
FaceTime or text or call at his beck and call. I woke up Chris Breezy. What about you? Any kind of chewing tobacco. You do any kind of chewing tobacco, it's immediate red flag to me. Ew, you nasty ass bastard! You fucking nasty ass motherfucker! That's nasty, man! I'm not trying to make people mad at that, but I'm gonna have to say, I feel hurt with the damn bone when she say that. <laughs> God damn, I'm sorry. I know, I know some, even some of y'all are my friends, y'all are gonna be mad. I still don't care, dog. Because, damn, but y'all be like 20, 20, like 21, 22, 23 years old. Y'all are young as hell. You're walking around with like a grandpa and like doing that. Especially this thing they be doing with the side. I'm sorry. It's just like, if you're gonna, it's cool for you to do that. But go in a restroom, go in a room somewhere and do that. Don't do that in front of me while you're talking in my face. Cause like that show no class at all. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. So there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to learn, they, they just give you a two solid point of view. So you can either choose to be or oh, like, oh, learn something. Hopefully. That's all, folks.